Okay, we're back on this uh, on this welder. Now, now that we know that it runs, and I have a bunch of parts, brand new mufflers and electric pump, but I am a little limited on space. What I do, and I already see it's hard to pull because the all the wheels they swivel. So I went to Harbor Freight. And I got new wheels. I got two steady ones in the back, and I'm gonna have a swivel in the front. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything else, because this it's very difficult to move around. So I've already cut a couple of plates that I'm gonna use to mount the wheels. So let me show you. All right. So what I decided to do is uh, this is quarter inch aluminum, um, and I cut two pieces. They're uh, I think they're 16 by 12. Um, so I'm gonna mount in the front. I'm going to mount this in the front like this. Two in the front. Let me get the back ones. Alright, hold on. Let me get the back ones. Alright. So I'm going to take... And then I'm going to mount... two in the back and that should be plenty to get these to get this machine to roll around a little bit better so let's go ahead and do that and then we can go on to the the rest of the stuff it looks it looks um, Actually, these wheels don't go like this. These wheels are going to go this way. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? These wheels are going to go the long ways. They're going to go like this. Yeah, like that. There we go. So there we are. So we got about 12 inches center on the wheels. So that's how it's going to go. Now let me get, mark all this, get the bolts. Okay, so um, I was going to use these to countersink, to countersink them into the plate, but they're a quarter twenty, and I was going to use a lock, a nylon uh, lock uh, nut. So, but. Because I thought that's all the only thing I had, but I do like these to for the head to be countersinked into this. But it's going to make it a lot weaker. So I'm going to go with this guy. This is a 516s with a regular nut on it, a lock nut, and a washer, and that should bolt this thing together uh, really nicely. So let's let's go ahead and I'm gonna clean up these edges right now with a file and um, and get this ready to go. So let's do that. Let me get a file. 
may these edges. Took me about five minutes to find this file. I hate, I hate the mess. And then having the space. That'll, that'll come to an end pretty soon here. There we are. Now we gotta drill the holes. Um, wonder if I can use my mag drill to do that. Let's see. So it won't stick to that. I'm just gonna use a regular drill. Let me go get one. You can always move your center hole. If your center hole goes off, you can always move it, move it around. So I try to use a uh, centering bit, a 
the center um, first. That way it guides you all the way through there. Oh, this bit is chewed up. Uh, let's try it and see. Yeah. Chewed up. Let me sharpen this guy. Uh, let me see if I can find another one. <laughs> See what it looks like. Oh, nice. Okay. Closer. like these washers they're the hole is so much bigger than the bolt I think this is a 3 8 uh, washer let me see if I have smaller washers okay so I found a washer 5 16 but It doesn't quite fit. It's pretty big. So, but I like it. I like that it's really big. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them, and this fits quite nicely on here. At first, I was gonna cut these edges, but and you know what? I might try that. I don't think we need it. I think it lo actually looks nice. So all I'm going to do is just make a little cut on that. Oh. No, 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 no. I have to do that eight times. So, yep. 
So let's do one. Not bad. Check that out. So, this one came out nicer. It's a little longer, but.
Okay. I think we got these done. So let's try to put them on the machine now. All right, let's see how difficult it is to get this thing out of here. So, obviously it's got one wheel that's smaller than the other, so. But it rolls around like a, like a freaking mess here. But it's so heavy that I'm going to give myself a hernia. Okay. Ugh. All right. That came out. Cut this cable out of the way. See, it rolls everywhere. So it looks to me like they welded these wheels on here, which that's kind of crappy. Okay. You don't want to weld wheels on anything because uh, wheels go bad. So. Like these. So now you gotta cut them off of here and you risk messing up the the bottom of that machine. But we're here and it needs to be cut so You believe that? Somebody threw that little cutie away. It works like a champ too. It just threw it away. Alright, so let's cut this wheel. I've been messing with this for 30 minutes. sleeve shirt. I'm trying to cut way below the the body. I, I don't want to hurt I don't want to cut into the frame I'm gonna cut the weld and maybe the wheel part of it and then I'll grind it smooth once the wheels off of there so I don't want to cut into this
not too bad. I like it. Okay, so I got the jack in the front. It lifts it up pretty nicely. I like that. Okay. So I gotta figure out what how am I gonna attach this. Okay, so I think I got this thing figured out. Um, I'm actually gonna make the instead of putting the sides and attaching it to that to the to the welder what I'm doing is I'm making let me bring you I'm making a cart so I already did that side and how I did it um, I put in let's see I put in a couple of I put in this angle uh, aluminum angle put a couple of bolts I uh, let me bring you off the tripod Okay, so I used a piece of angle, it's 38, it's the length of the machine, so, and then um, I bolted it, I bolted the plate to this, because the machine's going to sit here, and it's going to sit flush, I don't want anything to uh, come out, and then I put spacers in there, uh, and bolted it in. I have to push. I have to do something at the very end to bolt this together. But I don't know what I'm going to do here. But for the most part, the card's done. I got this done. So now I'm going to do this side so you guys can see. Um, so yeah, I think it's it turned out pretty nice. So all the machine. I, this is going to slide under the machine, and I'll put a couple of bolts, like maybe two just to hold it and if I want to take the machine off of here and put it on the trailer or whatever I can do that too so but the little cart will stay alright let me put you on the tripod okay there we go alright so First thing is, uh, it's about an inch from the from the bottom. I'm just eyeballing it, not even measuring anything. So. countersink these like that countersink that so that the bolt will sit flush And I'll just put a nut on the other side and then the final put it in between there
I'll put a little red Loctite on the bottom one so that doesn't come loose. Red Loctite. Yep. That's it. Very happy. get some help. is on there now we release these guys Too much. All right. Now we have a rolling cart. Oh, nice. Woo. My God, that thing doesn't move from there. That's beautiful. Okay. All right, now we can do the the real work, getting the machine going. I should have bought a wheel with a lock, but uh, I don't know if I could have gotten those with locks. Maybe I could have. I don't know. But anyways, they're on there. So let me clean up, and then I'm gonna show you for the next video. The parts that I bought for this thing. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful.